Hello YouTube, Herman's Gaming here, back with another episode of Foxhole. Today we're going to be redoing our tutorial on how to make bunker bases. Apparently my last video had some misinformation and or incorrect information. So today I'm going to be keeping it really simple for new players um, on how to make a bunker base. Um, I'm not going to be constructing the whole thing, I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks and the logistics of how to actually accomplish it. There are some really good information left to me in my comments of my previous video, so I'm going to be leaving that in the description of this video if you care, as long as well as um, the link to the Wikipedia page on how to make bunker bases. Um, so when you're making bunker bases, you need a, a, a shovel, uh, you're gonna want a construction vehicle, and you're gonna probably want a truck to get um, basic materials and uh, get that, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so to start, you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna press Brady, go to the little shovel, um, um, I almost said emoji, I guess it would be an icon. And all you got to do is just use the bunker function. So we'll fast forward through this part. Oh, um, one thing you want to also pay attention to um, in every zone is going to have a supply consumption modifier. Um, now, to not give any incorrect information, I'd suggest that you go to the Wikipedia page on what this means. But the long and short of it is it determines how many maintenance supplies are required for any individual structure and how quickly they will decay. Um, decay is just um, the way the game mechanics destroys unnecessary materials. So if something's not getting used, it will go away. Um, to prevent decay, um, essentially you just need maintenance supplies. And I'll show you how to get that in this episode as well. So first we're going to dig out what we need. So once you have your initial structure done, um, you can do any um, layout you would like. There's actually a program online, I believe it's Foxhole Planner. Um, I can leave that in the description as well that allows you to lay out your base before you actually build it. Right now we're just going to stick with something very simple. It's going to be a 3 by 2 little bunker structure here. That's all I really have room for in this location, um, but you can uh, do any formation you would like. All right, so when that's done, you have your six by six um, structure or whatever figuration you want. You need at least six of them. You get in your construction vehicle. You want to make sure you don't block the entrance where it's going to go. Otherwise, it won't work. And then you just kind of get so you press F to get into upgrade mode and click where you want your bunker base to be. Click E and then using your scroll wheel, put it in the orientation you want and just start building. So once you complete construction, you now have a functioning bunker base. Um, you can set your assign, uh, assign your spawn point. Sorry, I'm just gonna talk for a second. Uh, you can submit your starter kit, which is your gun, your hammer, and your ammo. Uh, you can submit stockpile items from a truck, submit large items, you can view stockpile log options. Uh, you can upgrade to provisional garrison, which if you assign this as your spawn point, click this, it votes it, which allows it to um, get completed faster. Uh, small garrison, large garrison. Um, you can do infantry garrison, and you need um, certain uh, garrison modifications to unlock that. Uh, so, if you go and press to your hammer and press F and click E, um, once you upgrade it to bunker tier two, you have more unlocks, which will allow you to do the certain garrisons um, or command post stuff. Command post unlock as observation bunkers, concrete deployment points and advanced bunkers. I'm not gonna get too de deep into um, how to do all that because I just want this to be a simple tutorial on how to do your own bunker base. 
but um, you can do it in any orientation that you like. You can submit um, equipment so you can use it for yourself. Just to read some of the comments from my previous video, Hashi, I believe is how you would say it, said um, in reference to the previous bunker base, which we did not actually end up using. Uh, he said, this is technically a bunker base, but is it a terrible one at that? A bunker base is often good for, or bad, depending on three factors, location, decay, and defensibility. For the location you want to build, it's somewhere where it will be useful and protect an important location or road. Lothar is fine. Decay can be very important for a base. You do not want to add unnecessary pieces that will just increase your maintenance costs and the cost of maintenance for the whole subregion. So the smaller and more compact the bunker base, the better. Defensibility is the most important factor. Building in Foxhole has so much depth because you need to build bunkers that can last sieges and counter 10 plus different PvE methods. They need to build to be built in order to minimize blind spots where individual pieces can be hit without retaliation. That is why the bunker pieces in Foxhole have to be the same design that was proven to be good. Knowing how to build your bunker base correctly means knowing how to make it survive an attack. The shape of your core structure can have three or more garrisons for its 13 pieces. That is a really low re ratio. Also, the structural integrity doesn't mean what you said. It means the modifiers that can change structure's health depending on a number of pieces a tier. Tier 1 bunker will start losing health from having 15 pieces compared to a tier 3. And another comment from Rogue AK47. Um, so a few things to note here. The small flag on the garrison signals that there is not AI. There is a fixed bunker tech in the leftmost column of the bunker upgrades. A small garrison is required for permanent AI and the provisional, provisional will give you AI with 10 players having their spawn set there. When bu the building there is decay before... I'm sorry. When building, there's a delay before decay will take place. It's 20 to 40, 24 to 48 hours, depending on the building and tier. The easiest way to get M subs is going to a local M sub facility set up near a salvage mine or two. When building on bunker core, you only need six pieces. Different configurations will give you different structural integrity. Never put engine rooms and ammo rooms into the bunker core or integral part of your defenses, as they severely lower your integrity. For the other bunker upgrades, you need to add modifications to tier two and above bunker pieces. If you hover over the upgrades, it will tell you how many. It does not matter which ones unless you care about minor buffs to specific actions, as in how it's your firing rate or observation bunker range. Try to tech one, one column at a time, not including the leftmost. It is quicker to build two separate cores and tech them on two different columns and stealing tech from both to fl flush out your defenses. If you need more info, blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's just some of the stuff that was written to me in reference to my previous video. Um, other than that, you can pretty much go whichever route you would like with your bunker base. Um, my regiment uses ours as more a, of a practical HQ instead of a defensible location. That's why we build it um, far away from the front line. If we were building on the front line, we'd probably build it different. Um, but that's just how we do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If there's anything got wrong in this video, please let me know in the comments and I can um, update this video. I would highly suggest uh, doing your own research and most importantly, uh, have fun when building your bunker base because that's what it's all about.